On this episode of Inside the Blueprint, we talk to an international legal consulting firm, learn about energy efficient insulation, view exciting innovations in lighting, discuss the importance of road barriers, plus lots more. International legal representation is an important field. You want a lawyer that understands you, your language, culture, and your needs. I am an international lawyer, and I've been doing that for about 20 years, based here in Miami, and the firm tries to focus on whatever high net worth Latin American and Europeans need, be it court, be it corporations, be it contracts, and it's a whole panoply of different sorts of areas catered to their business and family sort of needs. In terms of a mission statement, I'd say that Osori International tries to give personalized boutique level in your language services for whatever sort of legal need you have in terms of business, in terms of corporate, in terms of litigation, real estate or immigration. One of the things that we try to distinguish ourselves with here is language capability. Uh, I speak three languages, English, Spanish, and Portuguese. And I try to hire people and train people who are bilingual or trilingual because not only does the client feel much more at home when they can speak in their native language, the communication with the client is far more efficient and direct and you can read whatever they send you rapidly and respond to them in their language. And it's an edge that we have in terms of rep representing our clients, uh, being able to speak their language. If I had to ask myself, what kind of client do we service here? I'd say for the most part, it's the high net worth Latin American and European. By Latin American, I mean from Mexico to Chile and Brazil. And by European, it could be anywhere in Europe, traditionally Spaniards um, and Italians, for example. Uh, who are these folks? They're people who have some sort of link to the United States and to Latin America, and Miami being a crossroads is a place where a lot of these families set up businesses or have some sort of asset or business dealing. When you set up businesses or you have an asset or you have a business dealing, it may require legal advice or it may result in the formation of companies or it may result in uh, unfortunately, sometimes legal disputes that we're ready to help you solve. Within international law, business disputes are a big area of concern. So is setting up your international business properly. If you're going to do business in the United States, there's no handbook for it. Um, but you should hire a lawyer to help navigate you through how do you form a company? What are some do's and don'ts as to ownership or management? Um, what are some do's and don'ts, don'ts as to the formation of uh, business relationships with providers, uh, with joint ventures? And when you talk to a lawyer, a lawyer is gonna help you sort of figure out to what degree do you need to formalize this and have a contract, or to what degree do you, should you just be operating with do's and don'ts and that sort of thing. But bottom line, beware simply coming here and doing business and having no consideration for the kind of corporation that you should set up, the way that you should hire people, and the way that you should operate on a day-to-day -day basis. One of the things that we tend to see is when you don't have some sort of agreement that is laid out properly, it may lead to more of a dispute. An example, two people form a company and they don't have a shareholder agreement, the lack of an agreement may result in more of a dispute. Or two companies are doing business with each other and they don't have an agreement or a contract, the lack of that contract may result in more gray area and more of a dispute. No one's a psychic, no one has a crystal ball to say, in every situation I need to have a contract or an agreement, but I should say that if possible, try to get your uh, affairs in order before you do business with someone and have a contract or before you enter into a, uh, a shareholder type relationship with someone and have a shareholder type agreement. It will help possibly avoid lawsuits or resolve them faster or more clearly. They also deal in international inheritance and family law matters. 
many times foreigners will try to not put all their eggs in one basket and have assets in the United States in case something happens in their home country. If you look around in Miami, a lot of the apartments and condos have been built here for such individuals who want to buy property. But what happens when the owner of that property dies? Someone needs to inherit it. It's the family who may be abroad. And so our courts in Miami are very familiar with international inheritance type issues where the asset is here, but the heirs are abroad. And the heirs abroad cannot assume that the inheritance laws of this country are gonna be the same as their home country. That heir abroad may need someone who speaks their language and can explain our inheritance system. Miami is unique in the sense that we see a lot of inher international inheritance issues and so this is an area that our law firm can assist you with in understanding what kind of claim you may be able to assert or what is the quickest way that you can get this inheritance into the correct or rightful heir's hands. Many times small companies, they're owned by a family. They're not owned by mega corporations. But what happens when the family cannot agree as to how the company's gonna be run? Someone may end up in court starting a lawsuit and suddenly in this litigation, you're fighting over not just how the company's gonna be run, but family grievances are also at issue. So this is an area that we handle quite often where closely held companies for foreigners end up in court and we are navigating one of the factions as to how to potentially um, get control of the company, uh, act in the best interest of the company, whatever the uh, legal objective is of that client. But it's quite a tricky area of the law that we are specialists in. With boutique service, they're able to compete with big law firms. I take great pride in having a law firm that can give you the full service you need on any kind of case that you need. And we can go up against the biggest firms, the medium-sized firms, or the smallest firms at an affordable rate. The reason we're able to do that is because I've designed this firm to be as efficient as possible and to be able to give you good quality legal service at an effective price. I like to think that we're well known and well respected. I've been practicing for over 20 years. I was the former chairman of the international law section of the Florida Bar. I've spoken at many events. I've been involved in different sort of international legal organizations. And we've tried to build a name here for ourselves as leaders in the international law community. I'd like you all to know that if you choose to consult with us or hire us, I personally guarantee that I will be involved in your matter and maintain the highest standards of legal excellence. Because at the end of the day, it's Osorio International and that is exactly the uh, caliber that you're going to get. For more information about Osorio International, visit their website, osorioint.com. And of course, visit our website, InsideTheBlueprint.com Where does innovation come from? More often than not, it stems from a need or a problem that requires a solution. This is what inspires the engineers, technicians, and research scientists at Owens Corning. Owens Corning is not only a world leader in insulation, they've taken it to a whole new level altogether. Insulation used to be thought of as just a way to keep in and or keep out heat and cold. But the folks at Owens Corning have been developing and manufacturing some of the most dynamic and functional insulation in the biz. Now when talking about insulation, you should include descriptors like acoustics and fire resistance. In a business where innovation is the name of the game, Owens Corning isn't afraid to push the envelope to stay ahead of the competition. My name is Julian Francis. I'm the president of the insulation business at Owens Corning. And in that capacity, I have accountability for the global operations uh, of the insulation business. 
Today, Owens Corning consists of three businesses, our roofing business, our insulation business, and our glass fiber reinforcements business, all really founded on the basis of glass fiber uh, the invention back in 1938. And then after the post-war boom in construction of single-family homes, uh, the insulation business really started to take off. Residential construction is probably where we're most famous with our iconic pink insulation that was introduced as early as 1950s. In 2013, um, we bought into a business, we acquired a business called Thermofiber, which is a mineral wool product. So actually it's made of, uh, of waste material from steel manufacturing, but it melts at a much higher temperature. And so it's very, very good at, uh, at both its thermal performance but also its fire resistive properties. Angie is a technical services leader with Owens Corning, who develops fire control systems using mineral wool as insulation. The Owens Corning Thermofiber pioneered the first perimeter fire containment system. And we designed these life safety systems around our mineral wool insulation products. And so it's systems like this that we install in some of the high rise buildings like One World Trade Center. So a perimeter fire containment system is constructed primarily out of mineral wool insulation. And really the mineral wool insulation is the workhorse behind the assembly just because it can resist very high temperatures for a very long period of time. We have containment systems that offer protection up to three hours so that it allows more time in a building for people to evacuate safely. Here we have a representation of a curtain wall in an exterior high-rise building. We see the thermofiber Owens Corning mineral wool insulation is covering and protecting a portion of that exterior wall. The critical part of the assembly though is really the barrier. And this is where you have a, a joint between the floor slab and the exterior curtain wall. Now imagine if you did not fill that void with any material, fire would have a free path to spread from floor to floor. Today we're using the ASTM E84 Steiner Tunnel uh, to assess the surface burning characteristics of our mineral wool insulation. So in the E84 tunnel test, the uh, sample is top loaded in a ceiling orientation so that the, when the flames come up, they hit the bottom of the sample, just like on every sample, even comparison samples. Uh, from there, it depends on what the product is made of. We'll then determine how far down the flame front travels down the surface of the material. These are the results from the ASTM E84 Steiner tunnel test. We get a flame spread index and a smoke developed index, and those help us meet the codes. This particular apparatus is the E119 small scale quarter wall test. So basically, this is a wall furnace, and this would be our mock curtain wall, insulated with the mineral wool insulation and we would have a window opening here on the full scale test. We'll fill this room with fire and we'll get to temperatures well above 1800 degrees Fahrenheit to demonstrate the fire resistive performance of the wall system itself. Owens Corning's thermofiber insulation is not only flame resistant, but it also has noise reduction capabilities. I'm Corey Taylor, I'm the technical lead for the Acoustic Research Center. This is where we design, develop, and evaluate the acoustic performance of our material. So we're going to be running our ASTM E90 test, and this evaluates the sound performance from room to room. The only way sound energy is going to get from our source room to our receive room is through the wall partition that we have in place. So we're going to start this test, and what we're actually measuring is the sound pressure levels over time. So these are the levels of our source room, and here we can see that we are about uh, 95, 97 decibels in our source room. And if we look at the receive chamber, the levels in there are around 60 decibels, just a little under. 
So what that tells us is that the wall that we have in place is mitigating approximately 30 decibels of sound at this one particular frequency. Not all thermofiber products are created equal. We need different product designs for different applications. Our light density products are designed for interior applications to ensure that our homes are quieter, more comfortable, and safer in the event of a fire in a residential zone. On the other hand, our heavy density products are better used in uh, perimeter applications on the outside of buildings to deliver that superior fire performance that is required. We focus very deeply on the overall performance of the building. So not just from a thermal standpoint, as when people think about insulation, but also acoustics, uh, life safety, and then the overall performance of the building through a building science outlook, moisture protection, uh, air infiltration. So many of these things we design into our products. It's not just about insulating a home thermally against cold or against heat, but also the performance of the building as a whole, acoustics, fire, how it interacts with other systems in the building. And that means we just have to be experts in the building science. Launched in 2000 in Gardena, California, a small company dedicated to the idea of environmentally conscious, sustainable production of lighting products, Vision Air Lighting quickly expanded in both reputation and size. From the beginning, we started doing smaller scale jobs, everything from parks to sports facilities, and then got into automotive lighting. And as the company grew, we got into more large scale projects like smart cities and street lighting. Fred, the president and owner of our company, was also involved in tennis. And so they wanted to start doing tennis lighting. And so we initially started by lighting tennis courts with HID or high intensity ditch charge lamps. Our company initially started with just assembling products. And over the years, we brought more and more more processes in-house. Now today, we are a completely vertically integrated company who manufactures all of its different components here in our facility. The advent of commercially viable solid state or LED lighting was the first significant change in the industry in over 100 years. The new technology that Visioner has and why it's gonna make us stand out is because an open platform, it's a single plane of glass. Currently in the, today's lighting market, if I am with a university or if I'm with a city, I wanna be able to control my lights, I wanna be able to control my parking sensors, my oxygen sensors, any kind of thing. And any time I wanna do that, I have to do that on a separate login, a separate program. What's unique to Visioner is we're an open protocol, which means we have different devices from different manufacturers that we could bring in and all operate on our own user interface. Because solid state lighting was essentially a small computer, it enabled other connected devices to interface with lighting for the first time at this level. This was the birth of smart lighting. The technology that I designed, that I developed, was a platform, a, a very agnostic, unique platform where we could have multiple softwares on one pane of glass. So I could actually take it to where I could bring in three or four different types of software, bring it into one, and be able to visualize everything on a single pane of glass. In the light fixtures, there, there's a real estate. There's a platform inside there which allows that. The light itself's not detecting that movement, but there would be a computer a brain chip that's inside that platform that allows you to be able to signal what's going on based on the camera. Vision Air manufactures its own printed circuit boards in-house in its surface mount technology or SMT facility. Each board is individually tested and analyzed for quality. This ensures the elevated level of product quality and longevity. We have robots doing injection molding, making the optics for our LED fixtures. We have a SMT room, which is surface mount technology, which will pick an LED off of a reel and place it onto our printed circuit board. We have a pattern shop or uh, sand cast and for die cast.
Just like the smartphone's evolution over the years, Pangea Link technology will integrate with applications we haven't even imagined yet. There's a street light almost every place you look, which can support this technology in the future. When you talk about the future and the application, it's really unlimited, and it's allowed us to continue to keep desiring the city's wants and needs and learning them as they're learning them at the same time. The great thing about our technology is it's really future-proof. Because we are an open-ended platform, that means that whatever you have currently today, if you're happy with it, that's great, but if you realize you have a need and you need to incorporate something else into that system, you could do that in the future. So if you want to bring cameras onto it, if you want to bring smart water meters onto it, you're allowed to do that in the future because it's an open-ended platform. The future for Visionaire is actually very, very bright. We're really developing things today and future-proofing our fixtures to where people can actually have access to this stuff 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. As you know, software never stops. There's, it's always an evolving thing. So in some cases, we know where we are today, but it could change in you know 24 months. It could be a totally different technology. So we're, we're trying to stay on the cutting edge of that. For more information about this new technology, please visit visionairelighting.com. If you've been in a car in Florida, then you've probably seen their name, at least a few times. From major highways to your local road, Acme Barricades is at the heart of the traffic safety business. At its core, Acme is a safety company, and so we provide products and services that help keep the traveling public and the workers that are out there building our roads every day safe. Proper planning and implementation of traffic control is critical to the safe and efficient completion of any roadway project. Without proper planning and implementation, there's a lot that can go wrong in the road building process, and uh, there's a, a lot of people at stake, including you know, the traveling public and the, the workers that are out there on the road every day. Safety is critical to road construction, and Acme Barricades has decades of experience in keeping workers and drivers safe on our roads. Most companies in our industry simply deliver products and services but they lack a well-defined purpose or culture. And at Acme, safety and relentless customer support are in our DNA. We invest heavily in developing our people so that they have the best training in the industry so they can go out and do their job safely and effectively. We spend a lot of time training our employees to the highest standards in the industry, and we bring expert knowledge of the vast regulatory requirements from OSHA, DOT, EPA, as well as the many city, state, and municipality regulations that all have to be complied with. The majority of our clients are uh, the road and bridge builders uh, of the world, and so we work with a variety of uh, small contractors and uh, up to the biggest contractors in the world. Acme Barricades operates all across the Sunshine State, Alabama, and much of the southeastern U.S. What sets Acme apart from our competition is our expertise, is our service. We're typically the first ones to arrive on a job and the last ones to leave. Our customers rely on us being punctual, us being an expert in what we do. Acme Barricades has the ability to service a large geographical area led by the most experienced management team in the industry. Combine that with the best in class employee training and quality control programs. We help build the, the, the infrastructure of our country. It's a, a growing opportunity. The company's growing day by day. It's an industry that's growing day by day as well. We're statewide. If you want to move, you can relocate and continue to work. Their reputation is second to none. Once I came to work for Acme, everything is, is great. I mean, like I said, from their benefits to their pay to the people you work with, the professionalism that the company affords you, uh, everything's been top-notch all the way and, and great. Acme Barricade uses the highest quality materials, such as 3M Diamond Grade DG3 Reflective Sheeting and 3M Temporary and Durable Wet Reflective Pavement Markings to increase visibility and help drivers safely navigate through work zones. We've been working with Acme for six or seven years. We'll go into an entire neighborhood, one, 2,000 homes, replace all the water, sewer, drainage, all the roads in the neighborhood. Acme Barricades will provide maintenance traffic services for us, which means the barricades, drums, aero boards, any kind of maintenance traffic we need, they provide it. Acme is dependable, give us good service and good pricing, and they're a pleasure to work with on 
our projects. We have great purpose when we come to work every day to keep people safe and build this nation's infrastructure and, uh, and, and provide a great service to both the contractors out there building the roads and the traveling public. There's not many industries where you have the kind of opportunities and the kind of day-to-day uh, -day changes and it's a fast-paced environment and uh, every day brings something a little bit new. For more information about how Acme Barricades is keeping us all safe on the roadways, visit their website, acmebarricades.com, and visit our website, insidetheblueprint.com. Thanks for watching Inside the Blueprint. For more information on any of the products you saw today or to find out how to become part of the show, please visit InsideTheBlueprint.com.